Hello Cancerian family, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with a general reading for your sign. This will be valid for the next couple of weeks. So either side of when you click on this video is when this reading will be energetically valid for. It doesn't matter when you tune into the reading Cancer, okay, um, it'll be good for whenever you find it. It is a general reading, so take the messages as they best resonate for you. But you know me here on the channel, like a personal reading is where it's at. Um, so if you're looking for something specific, a personal reading is where it's at. And all the details on how to work with me are in the show more section of this video. OK, don't come onto the reading and take what I'm saying personally if it doesn't resonate. Don't get offended if it doesn't resonate with you. Um, for the most part, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. And I always set the intention that these readings can be used as a guide only. OK. Furthermore, Cancer, a big happy birthday to each and every one of you. Uh, for those of you who have celebrated a birthday in June, happy birthday, Cancer. I do hope it's been a wonderful birthday month for you. And um, a big shout out and thank you, more importantly, to each and every one of you, you know who you are, who sent their beautiful warm birthday wishes towards my hubby it was his birthday on the 27th of june so if you're new here uh, both my husband and i are both cancerians yes we both drive each other mad but we do love each other in our own funny ways <laughs> don't ask me how it works it just does um, maybe because we're both tenacious and we both understand you know we, we both understand each other on an emotional level and um, yeah but there is this tendency to kind of like drown each other in the emotions at times so that can be quite exhausting but anyway thank you so much everybody for your wishes I did pass them on so thank you I've got a spaghetti bolognese bubbling away in the background so we're having spaghetti bolognese tonight for dinner let me know what you guys have having, are having. I'm so out of ideas when it comes to dinner. It's not funny. So help me out, you guys. All right. So we're going to open up the reading with an animal spirit card. And let's just see what wants to come through for our Cancerians energetically over the next couple of weeks. The so spirit angels and guides. What animal spirit card is best describing cancer over the next couple of weeks? Tell us more. Tell us more. Ooh. You've got the spider. This is earth energy. So you're in your earth. Earth speaks to... To me, the earth represents like all the earth signs like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could, you could be connecting to an earth sign at this time. Um, earth also speaks to the material world, like your work, your job, um, your finances, your finances, your health, your home, um, your family right all of those things the spider is also what's the word um ambitious so there's there's an ambitious appetite that is coming in with regards to you cancer uh, the spider works hard too. This is someone who is very hard working and they will work long hours to get the job done. And the spider is also known as someone who, when they do something, they do it to perfection. Like they, they've, the spider weaves his web many 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 times okay and he gets it right every single time so it's like the more you do something the better you become at it or the better you get at it and i'm also hearing that phrase uh 
you become a master when you do 10,000 hours of something. I know that's very general, right? But that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that kind of phrase. So it's like when I do tarot, right? Um, when I do 10,000 hours of tarot, I become a master at it. And all masters fail initially, initially. Like when they first start out, everyone screws up, everyone makes mistakes. But in order to become a master or in order to become really good at something or p perfect at something, you've got to at least invest 10,000 hours. So... That's the message that's coming in, Cancer. We'll understand more as I draw some more cards. So I am going to be using the Spacious Tarot. So this deck here, which I've never ever used for any of the signs. So I thought, well, it's Cancer season. I'm a Cancerian. So let's break this deck in by using it with Cancer. I'm not going to draw too many cards because I'm still yet to build a, a relationship with this deck, okay? So we might just stick to three cards at this time. So let's, let's see what messages Cancer needs to hear over the next couple of weeks. So what is it that Cancer needs to know, Spirit? What messages do you have for Cancer? All right, so we've got our three cards. That was quick. First one is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. So straight away, I'm already hearing with these two cards is Cancer, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't abandon something because you're scrutinizing yourself or you're being very harsh or critical of yourself. Okay. So yeah, I'm just getting here to not abandon something that Maybe you've invested a lot of hours into or a lot of energy into. Now, I am seeing the web here and web to me can be like a, I'm hearing a, a, the World Wide Web or web designer or web browser. Maybe it's something to do with something online that you're building online. Maybe you're thinking about launching something online. Um, I also see the web as like a network. So you may need to link arms with other people at this time also. Okay, so just putting it out there, but you are encouraged here not to abandon something. Mm. We've got the Justice card. Okay, Major Arcana for Libra. So Libra rules relationships and we've got the six of wands. So straight away, I want to say here, Cancer, don't abandon whatever you're working hard on right now because with the six of wands, this is a card of success and victory. Okay, and six of wands energy is also an energy of someone who does work really hard. They're going to be acknowledged for it. They're going to be celebrated for it. You're going to receive the accolades for all of the hard work that you've put in. And you know, Cancer, with the five of pentacles, it may not feel like anyone appreciates the effort that you're putting in right now. It may feel like nobody even cares but they do see what you are doing, okay? You are being seen for whatever it is that you're doing and you're doing well, okay? So you are going to be acknowledged. You are going to be rewarded. You may even be awarded. Now, with the justice card, this is an interesting justice card, isn't it? Because it's there's a ripple in the water here. So you are creating some kind of a ripple effect. It, it kind of just gives me the same vibes as the spider here. So Cancer, all I want to say here for you right now is spirit is watching. Okay. The justice is, it's the law of truth. Um, the universe sees everything. So whatever you are doing energetically, the universe is going to return it 
back to you. Okay, so something good gets to come out of this. You might not see that right now. Like I said, you may feel underappreciated. You may feel neglected even. Um, you may feel like you're doing something all alone here and you haven't got the help and the support of anybody else here. But don't worry, the universe will reward you here. That's what I'm seeing, Cancer. You are creating some kind of a ripple effect. That's what I'm hearing from the Justice card because there's a ripple occurring here. Um, it could even be your emotions. So you may start to get a little bit down or upset. You may start to feel a bit sensitive, especially if you're working overtime here and you're feeling underappreciated. Um, and undercompensated for all of the work. So it could start to play on your emotions here. So just, just be mindful or just be, yeah, just be mindful of how you're feeling. And because you've got the five of pentacles here, so this is a card of lack. I don't know if it's a, it's a lack of finances, maybe for some of you Cancerians here, you know, money's a bit tight money is tight like let's be real the state of affairs is just like crazy right now in 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 the world um, so money is tight resources are scarce um, you may need to just make do with what's in the fridge okay just to get to the end of the week um, and I, I see some of you guys working overtime here with the spider Okay, working overtime to make ends meet. And it may even feel like with the Five of Pentacles that you get to the end of the week and you're like, this is not fair. Um, I haven't even got anything left over to get a massage, right? I'm just throwing that out there. But it feels like that. But don't worry, Cancer, because with the Justice card here, you will be compensated at some point. Okay, all good things come to those who work hard. And that's, Rosa coined that. That's something that I, I've coined that term. It's just one of my terms. Good things come to those who work hard. That's it. And the Six of Wands kind of like reassures us that, you know, um, people see everything and you will be awarded and rewarded for it because I do see celebratory energy with this wreath with this wreath okay mm. so it might take a couple of weeks you might be working on something really really hard over the next couple of weeks but you will be compensated for it cancer I'm just going to break this energy down what else am I seeing here if it's a relationship, Cancer, you may feel like you're putting in all of the effort within a relationship right now. It could be a working relationship. It could be someone that you work with at work. You may feel like you've been teamed up with someone with the Justice card. Maybe you both have to work on something. This could be like a team effort, but you feel like you're doing more of the work. And your partner or your colleague is, isn't putting in as much as you. You know, but guess what? At the end of the day, the boss sees that you're doing the work um, and it's not going unnoticed. If it's a relationship, like a romantic relationship, it can feel like you're, it's, it's one-sided with the Five of Pentacles. And you're feeling like with the justice card, you know, it's not fair. And all you want is some attention. Okay, you're looking for attention. You're looking to be acknowledged here. You're looking for reciprocity, even with the justice card, because the justice is, it's, it's, the, it's Libra. And Libra rules the scale. So maybe it feels, yeah, unfair right now because the scales are unbalanced. All right. And look, it could be, even with the spider, it could be a rod that you've built for your own back. That's what I'm hearing. 
Okay, so if you've put, if you're overdoing it in a relationship, I kind of feel like you've kind of, um, yeah, you, you, I'm hearing that term, you've built a rod for your own back. So, and you may feel with the five of pentacles that you're, you're being taken for granted as a result, right? All right, let's break this energy down. Can we understand what the five of pentacles is? Okay, we've got the world card. Nice, I like that. What's this justice card? The nine of wands. Yep, that's the card of hard work. And we've got the devil underneath the six of wands. All right, let's take a look at this. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, but isn't that interesting? Because um, the devil does speak to Capricorn and Capricorn rules the, the, the 10th house, which is the house of Korea. So for some of you, this is around Korea. It is around maybe achieving success. Uh, achieving some kind of level of success with regards to something that maybe you're obsessed with or that you're passionate about because the, the devil can speak to obsession but in order to become successful at something and I, I've heard this somewhere I don't know who said it but your passion is something that you should be freaking obsessed over and if you're not obsessed with it then you're not passionate about it or you're not it, it's it's not your purpose or something like that right but it's almost asking for you to be obsessed be obsessed mm. because the obsession um gets that you know gets you going i'm seeing this goat and his feet are on fire. So it's like when you're completely besotted and obsessed with something, you just find the energy to keep going. No matter how hard or how, how difficult it gets, you just keep going. So for example, I'll use me as an example. Like I freaking love tarot. I've been obsessed with tarot since I was a little girl. And there is absolutely nothing that can stop me from doing tarot because I'm freaking obsessed with it. So, and when you're obsessed with something, you just find the passion, you, you just find the energy from nowhere, <laughs> like literally from nowhere to do it. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I can't remember where I was going to go with that, but the world card underneath with the underneath the five of pentacles is saying cancer, you know, the five of pentacles is that energy. The five of pentacles is that energy where you feel like abandoning something or maybe you do feel abandoned right now, but the world is saying it's it's temporary. Okay, it, it's a cycle. I'm looking at all these circles here. And to me, this represents all, all uh, cycles, okay? This could be cyclical in nature as well. Um, but I, I wanna say, Cancer, this is, a, this is temporary. This is not going to be like this forever, okay? It might just be only, it can feel like this for the next couple of weeks, but you know, the world card speaks to achievement and achieving something here so you have a goal with the spider okay there's a goal that you're striving for and yeah hypothetically speaking it could take 10,000 hours but you will eventually get there it might mean with the five of pentacles that you might not be able to catch up with your friends or socialize or um, do all the things that you like to do in the meantime but guess what your hard work will eventually pay off and there will come a time where you can hang out with your friends again or you know it may feel like with the five of pentacles that you can't have any time off or you can't take holidays 
or you can't take a break or you can't take a vacation. But that's not going to last forever, Cancer, because the world is here. And there's always, I'm hearing seasons, okay? There's a reason, a season, there's a season for everything. And right now, you might just be in that season of needing to work really hard or to invest a lot of energy and time into something here. Mm. Now, for some of you, I want to say that maybe a world trip or a trip away is on the cards for you. Maybe that's the goal. Maybe you want to work towards, you know, going away, um, taking a break or taking a holiday. And money's really tight. Five of Pentacles. Okay, money's really tight. But you might have to work for, you know, 12 months really, really hard and save for 12 months really, really hard. Because the Five of Pentacles, this is a penny pinching energy. It's like, I don't have a lot of money, but I, I will manage to put some money away for a rainy day. And guess what? You know, um, you, you'll be able to take that trip away. So the Nine of Wands is here, which is also another indicator here that, you know, taking it day by day. The Nine of Wands is, I see a staircase here. And it's just about taking one step at a time before you can eventually get to the top, right? Now, it can feel with the Nine of Wands that this is arduous, that this is arduous. But with the devil here and, and Capricorn energy coming in here, um, you are needing to stay disciplined, okay? There is a level of discipline that you are needing to acquire. Mm. There's going to be days, like I said, with the uh, Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands, there's going to be days where you do feel like giving up and that you are exhausted. Okay, but this is a, a card from Spirit that is saying don't give up because... It's saying, hang in there, Cancer. Now, this Nine of Wands is sitting underneath the Justice card. Hang in there, Cancer, because the universe will celebrate you. The universe will reward you. What you put out there will be returned back. Okay, what you put out there will return tenfold. Mm. Now, I am seeing, just be careful, Cancer, because I'm seeing, sorry, I, I see like, a, it looks like a pill in the center of this Justice card. So for some of you Cancerians, maybe you're taking medication. Um, You know, maybe you're taking medication at this time. I don't know why uh, medication is coming through for you. Like I see a pill. So I don't know if this is to support you. Uh, maybe it's like energy, an, an energy pill. Okay, maybe you're, you're taking something to keep your energy levels up. So I know for me personally, it's not a pill, but I do take olive leaf extract. I mean, it's winter here in the Southern Hemisphere and I just take like this olive leaf elixir and that helps to keep my immune system really, really strong, especially for those of you who are feeling tired or exhausted here. I just see that there might be some support around you. There might be some support through maybe digesting medication. I mean, I never condone medication, but I mean, I'm just seeing that this is to support you. 
Now, it could be to do with mental health even, okay? It could be maybe it's anxiety. Maybe you're feeling like really, really anxious. Uh, it might be an anti-anxiety tablet. I'm not really sure. You let me know in the comment section below, Cancer. Now, it doesn't even have to be a pill, but I, mean, I am seeing water here. So it could be even like a herbal medicine that you're digesting. Okay, it could be herbal. Um, it could be a liquid. It could even be... Um, like your, like I said, this is earth energy. It could be health. Um, it could be just like looking at your diet. You know, what are you consuming? Is it supporting your energy levels? Does that make sense, Cancer? Like that could, like this literally could be iron liquid, especially if you're feeling fatigued, right? It could be iron liquid. It could be something like that. But like I said earlier, this is earth energy. So this can speak to your, your well-being, your health and your well-being. So just be careful because you don't want to burn the candle at both ends. You will or you may need some support from other sources. Okay, now also the other message that I'm getting here, Cancer, is with the devil and the six of wands. Watch your tendency to need or seek validation from others. Are you the Cancerian that is needing to seek external validation? Okay. Because for some of you, I'm hearing here that you, you may need that external validation to feel like it is worth it. You know, and maybe for some of you, you will get that external validation. You will be seen for all of the hard work, hard work and effort that you put in. And this acknowledgement from other people may even put a fire you know in your belly again it might reignite that spark within you to keep pushing on or to keep going yeah sometimes we need that like i know for me personally like the feedback that i get from my personal readings like Oh, it's like the icing on the cake for me. And it's like, you know what? I can get maybe a handful of negative comments that come into the comment section below. But that, you know, that handful of people that I've done a reading for and the feedback that I get is priceless. And that right there is what gets me going. Okay, because I, I know that I am literally helping somebody out there. Mm. All right. What else do we want to know, Cancer? Let's grab some animal spirit cards. Let's grab some animal spirit cards just to add another layer to this reading. Oh, now I'm looking at the Moonology cards and I feel like grabbing one of those too. What else have we got here? We've got the Giraffe Spirit. So it's got see the big picture. Yeah, that's the goal, right? You have this vision, you have this goal, you're aware it's not going to happen overnight, okay? You're aware that it's not going to happen overnight. It's literally not going to happen overnight. Um but the results will be worth it that's what i'm hearing here the results will be worth it yeah okay i'm just i was just looking at the card seeing what else i was getting here um I'm, I'm getting with the giraffe, giraffe, like I can see the giraffes have long necks, right? And I don't know, I'm just getting like a hanged man energy coming in with this. And the hanged man is looking at something from a higher perspective, but I actually feel like you're going to go the next level, okay? The, whatever your 
investing into, it's going to take you to a greater height is what I want to say. Okay, it could literally be that you're climbing the career ladder. Okay, but the, you're, you're going to a new level. Yeah. Like the, like the goat, okay, like the goat. They're the mountain climbers. So you're climbing to the top of something. Maybe you're literally taking a holiday um, to somewhere where there's mountains or maybe you're going hiking. Um, I don't know, that's a very specific message. All right, what else have we got here? Koala spirit. Okay, koala spirit. We've got spirit has a plan. So not only does spirit have a plan, but you need to put a plan in place as well and stay focused, dedicated and disciplined to it. Okay, it's like the spider, you know, he knows how to build that web every single time and he does it with precision and he does it with perfection. So, you know, some kind of a plan needs to be put in place. And the spider and the devil is also asking for consistent action, okay? So you're not going to get the results unless you're putting in the consistent action or the consistent effort. Again, the koala is sitting high up in the tree. So again, I'm getting like something to do with heights, getting to the top. All right, and one more. Oh my goodness, look at this wasp spirit. I'm pretty sure you've had this in a reading before. It says here, sometimes life stings. Yes, that's the five of pentacles energy that I'm talking about. Yeah, it freaking sucks. You know, um, I get like that sometimes. I get like, well, I'm doing all of this work. Nobody even seems to care. Um, what am I working so hard for? You know, that's just me playing the playing the pity party. But then I quickly get over that. Okay, so with the wasp spirit, you might be in a situation that does feel sucky at times. I know a lack of a better word, right? Um, um, but it's only temporary. That's what I want to say. Is the is the camera focusing, you guys? And wasps, again, like bees, I'm pretty sure, they are hardworking. Okay, they are hardworking. Um, so I, I want to say, Cancer, that whatever you're going through, it is temporary, but it is going to require motivation, control, discipline, and focus. And yes, you know, with the five of pentacles here, you may need to make some sacrifices at this time. All right. But that's like with anything that's worth it, right? That's like anything that's worth it. All right, we're gonna grab a Moonology Oracle card and then we're gonna close out this reading, Cancer. All right, let's see what last parting message we've got here. A time to give rather than take. Yeah, because you will reap the rewards. You will reap the rewards here. Um, that is absolutely without a doubt because you've got the justice card here. All the, and all the cards are supporting this. New moon in Virgo. Okay, Virgo is an, it's an archetype of service. So maybe you're providing a service, maybe you're wanting to provide a service and you're working behind the scenes to, you know, build this service so you can launch it, right? Um, but it is a time to give rather than take. So it's going to require a lot from you, um, a lot of 
selfless energy from you. You are required to maybe be generous, okay, at this time. Um, but you will be rewarded, okay? You will reap what you sow. You know, your tree will bear fruit. Mm. And it could be like something to do with Virgo again, right? Like Virgo. Um, again, just it, it could be to do with health and well-being even. So let me know in the comment section below because Virgo rules health. I, Virgo rules health. Um, something about Virgo season as well, that's up ahead. So maybe it'll pay off around Virgo season. Maybe you will see the results around Virgo season even. So I do look forward to your comments, Cancer. That's where I leave the reading. Um, thank you for watching this video to the very end. I really do appreciate you, Cancer. And until my next reading, take care. Bye, guys.